Let's go ahead and put our windows up. Uh, the passenger side's not working from this switch here. I don't know what's happening over there, but my switch is working fine from over here. So is one or both of your front power window motors not working? Well, this is gonna be one of our top five problems we're gonna go ahead and discuss on our eighth generation Chrysler 300C. Starting with problem number one, if your front windows are not going up and down, it could be one of a few different issues. You're gonna go ahead and operate the power switch here. Now, if the glass is not moving yet, you can hear something operating inside the door, it's probably the window motor that's working, but the cable itself on the window regulator has broken. You wanna go ahead and pull off the door panel and replace that unit. Now, if you operate the switch and you hear nothing, no noise, but yet the glass isn't going anywhere, there's a possibility that the power window motor has failed. Now, the most common in this scenario here could be a broken wire inside this rubber boot here. There's a bunch of wires that come through from the, the body itself and into the door, and it could be a broken wire inside this rubber boot. So you wanna go ahead and peel back this rubber boot, locate the broken wire, fix that, and then repeat the operation steps, see if that has fixed the problem. Now, if you need any of these parts here, you can go ahead and find those at 1AAuto.com. Problem number two, squeaking coming from the steering wheel when turning it left and right. Now, this can normally be caused by the seal at the base of the steering shaft that can actually be found through the engine compartment. What you wanna do is locate that seal, apply some lubrication to that seal, and then cycle the steering wheel back and forth. You want to do this as many times as it takes to eliminate that squeak. Now, in our particular case here, there was lack of lubrication on that seal. In turn, the seal had bound to the shaft and with turning it back and forth has torn the seal internally. Now, that could have been prevented by simply applying some lubrication to that seal before it got that far. So at this point here, the only way to fix that is to replace that entire seal. Problem number three. Transmission shifting problems. You may experience this in a hard shift or shuttering while shifting. What you wanna do is take the VIN number and contact your local dealership in regards to this here. The vehicle may be required to have a PCM, which is a powertrain control module update, or a TCM, a transmission control module update. If that is up to date and you're still experiencing that situation, you wanna go ahead and have that issue further diagnosed. If it has not been addressed, go ahead and have that dealership schedule an appointment for you, get that computer reflashed, and you should be all set. The problem number four, your check engine light is on. Now at this point here, we went ahead and performed some further diagnostics here using our scan tool, and we found multiple cylinder misfires. Now commonly found on this Chrysler 300 with this engine is carbon buildup on the back side of the valves. Now there's nothing you can do from outside of the engine. At this point here, your best bet is to go ahead and bring it down to a shop that can professionally perform a carbon cleaning on the engine. It could take a couple of times to go ahead and clear this out. Now the dealer does offer updated valve spring retainers to help prevent a reoccurrence of the situation. At this point here, you wanna go ahead and get that cleaning performed. Now problem number five, that is gonna be your oil pressure sending unit. Now chances are you have a check engine light on the dash and your scan tool is gonna to bring up a code PO520. You can simply go ahead and replace that oil pressure sending unit. It's located underneath the engine right beside the oil filter. Disconnect the harness, replace that part, reconnect the harness, and then clear the code. If the code comes back, you can go ahead and proceed to do further diagnostics. At that point, go online. You can find the wiring schematic on the internet. Go ahead and follow that there and do some further testing. That wraps up the top five problems on this eighth generation Chrysler 300C. Now, if you need parts for your Chrysler 300C or any other vehicle, go ahead and check us out at 1AAuto.com. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell. We'll see you next time. It could be one of a few items. Blah. Now you were blah, blah, blah. So are one or both of your power, blah, 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 blah. Go ahead and hit that like, like, blah, 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 blah. Chances are you're gonna have a year, year. So you're experiencing either a blah, blah, blah. Just kind of dub it in there. Dub, 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 dub.